Hi, welcome to Frontenac Outfitters Canoe and Kayak Center. This is a stand-up paddleboard review of Tuga Sup's La Turista 11.6. The Turista 11.6 is the shorter board in the series that also includes the longer Turista 12.6. It incorporates a 29 and a half inch beam, a five inch depth, and is obviously 11 foot six in length. Being that it is a little narrower, a little less depth than the longer 12.6 version, it's more catered towards that smaller paddler in about the 95 to 140, 150 pound range. The Turista 11.6 itself is a touring board or a displacement board, so it's been designed to be efficient through the water, to track well for doing those long distance paddles, or for somebody that maybe wants to race again or, or wants to do a little bit more tripping long term with the board. Talking about some of the features of the Turista 11.6, we do have that center handhold that's been recessed and contoured to make it easy to handle. You will do have your paddle park along the side with the bungee here so you're sticking the shaft of the paddle up underneath that bungee if you're just kind of hanging out in the sun or if maybe you're doing the sup yoga thing. You'll also notice that the Turista 11.6 has that recessed standing platform and the idea there is that it lowers the center of gravity so it helps improve the stability of the board overall. As we start to move to the nose you do have a bungee point up here to lash some of your gear um, and then you'll also have your FCS GoPro mounts if you want to take some filming while you're out there. The boards themselves in the Teresa series are very visually appealing. They're beautiful looking boards. You do have that graphic tape up at the nose as well as at the tail. It does look like bamboo. Um, it is not. It is a graphic tape. On the inside of the board, that being said, the way this board is made is you have the EPS foam core, uh, fancy word for high density styrofoam, that does have a sheet of bamboo veneer on the inside that improves the durability of the board, the stiffness, but it keeps the weight down. Also within that foam core that is the overall shape of the board, you'll have a balsa stringer, which is a thin piece of wood that runs the entire length of the board right down the center to improve the stiffness overall, therefore it improves the efficiency of the board. Looking at the tail of the Turista 11.6, we've talked about some of the features back here. A little more bungee area for some of that gear. You do have your little mount for your board leash, a little lashing point here, and then your, your leash itself attaches to your ankle or your calf. You can notice that right at the tail it starts to contour down. What that does is give you a little bit more streamlined design back here to improve your efficiency and uh, create a little less drag as you go so it improves the speed of the board. The standing platform here does provide some grip so while you're standing on the board you're not slipping all over the place. That being said, one of the negatives I can say about the Turista 11.6 is that the standing platform does not go all the way to the back of the tail. In order to make a touring board a little more maneuverable, you do have to shift your weight to the back, get the nose out of the water to decrease that water line to make it much more playful. Being that you have that gloss finish back here, once this starts to get wet, it becomes quite slippery, so it does provide some challenges to make that board a little more maneuverable when you step towards the back. So when we look at the hull of the Turista 11.6, there's some really neat design features that come into play. Mauricio, who owns Tugasup and, and makes some of the designs of these boards, his background from Venezuela is, is in the surf industry. And so what he's tried to do is incorporate some of those design features into his stand-up paddle boards. So what you'll notice is you almost have a V shape on the hull, like a keel that you would find in a canoe or that shallow V that you would see in a kayak. What it does is it creates a double concave into a single concave at the tail of the board. So it's creating two different channels of water as the water is being displaced on the hull of the board and as it moves towards the tail it becomes funneled into one. Um, when you have those two channels up in the center of the board it actually is increasing the stability of the board overall. Great for the beginner paddler but as it moves towards that tail and gets funneled into one you create a little bit of propulsion that's kicking it out at the back which improves the glide and your speed overall. What you do notice here right at the back is you have that U shape again really channeling the double concave into the single concave to increase the performance of the board. 
Uh, as it is a touring board, you do just have your single center fin, which helps that board track or paddle straight, and it does increase the stability overall. So to summarize, uh, the Teresa 11.6 from Tuga Sup is a fantastic touring board. It is my personal favorite board that I have ever paddled. It's great to tour. It's an efficient board. It's fast through the water. Uh, it's also quite user friendly again because the double concave is really increasing the stability. Uh, like we've mentioned, suited for that smaller to medium sized paddler and somebody that's looking to tour, or you could even do some of that recreational racing, we'll call it, because it is a fast board. If you want to come out and paddle one, we do free test paddling every day of the week, and we're more than happy to have you come on out and play. If you want to learn a little bit more about the board, be sure to check it on our website at frontknackoutfitters.ca. Other than that, come on out and come paddle with us.